The play flood from the bunch strung off set formation in the New York Jets offensive playbook is one of the most versatile passing concepts in all of Madden 24. If you guys want to get my entire Jets offensive ebook or any of my Madden or NCAA ebooks, they are available by joining my school community. I'll put a link to that down in the description. But I wanted to do this video. Let me know what you guys think of this style of content. But I think this will be very helpful. And the reason for this is I want to deep dive into this play flood as this formation was new to Madden 24. So it's probably going to be in Madden 25, maybe in NCAA or college football 25 as well. I want to explain why this is so effective. So the play flood, and we are going to run this with our bunch to the wide side of the field as a general rule. So we have a couple of things in this play, and this is truly why I think the Jets playbook is the best because, number one, Bunch Strong Offset is super, super good. But number two, you don't have a lot of plays in Madden that have this stock fade to the outside Bunch receiver. So if I put him on a fade right here, you're going to see he is still going to take that outside cut, but he's not going to be going – he's not going to be, like, tailing to the outside, which is super, super important. Now, um, if I streak him, same thing's basically going to happen. Now, if we go back to that fade, I want you to look at this fade on the right. As you see here – you're going to notice that this fade is going to take maybe two or three steps kind of inside and then it is going to tail to the deep right side of the screen. The reason this is important, and this is one of the most important little things that I could teach about Madden, especially beating zone. When you are trying to break down zone coverages, this is one of the most important routes every single year as it is oftentimes a route that can potentially bomb the cover four the cover three, the cover two, and if it doesn't bomb those coverages, it certainly is going to pull them. So I just want to show you really quickly what's going to happen. I'm going to snap this ball, and I want you to see the tight end. So you see here, I'm in a cover four coverage. Actually, the quarter did play him a little bit better than I had hoped. Let me try to show that one more time, and uh, let me just make sure I get some time in the pocket. And what you'll see, and I'll show it to the slot receiver as well, but in general, this tight end, and you see, if I wait long enough, you see how he's going to kind of get that back shoulder throw uh, capability. I'll be able to throw this tight end to the sideline pretty consistently. Now, if I put the slot corner on or the slot receiver on the on the corner route, it's going to be even a little bit better. So you see here, just wait on this. And you see I can kind of throw this on the sideline. Okay. Now, what you can never, ever, ever, ever do in Madden is if I was to put – this receiver on a streak or a fade is going to be the same result because I'm on the wide side of the field. The grid system that Madden is built on, there's now no longer potential for this back shoulder corner route to be thrown. And as you can see, it's going to get intercepted. So this is a critical route in teaching this fun fundamental principle that I teach every year. Madden is based off of a grid system. And if this fade route can get into the grid of that outside quarter, you'll see I can throw the tight end on the corner on the sideline just like that. The reason this is important is because this is going to allow us to manipulate cover four really well. Now we are also going to be able to manipulate this coverage, which is super important. And the reason why is because this coverage is the go-to coverage people utilize when they're trying to defend the double corner concept out of corner strike. The reason why this is such a good coverage is because corner strike, if you think about how it's ran, it's basically this. And then we're just going to assume that this guy is on like a short corner. So we'll put him on an out route. What you'll see is that this outside third, because that streak is not doing anything to manipulate an outside third, you see he's able to play that route. He got a lucky catch there, but he's able to play that route. He's able to be in position to take that away. So again, if we go back, and we utilize this fade route, we know that this fade can manipulate outside quarters and outside third zones. So you'll see now, if I go to that same coverage, that outside third gets completely pulled, and we can now throw this deep corner route on the sideline. The other coverage that is important to kind of cover, we did just cover it a little bit with cover three cloud, but we're going to cover it a little bit more here. If we just get like a traditional cover two, right? So let's just say just super traditional cover two, cover two drop type coverage. This is also going to manipulate that because pressed cloud flats are terrible. And so what you'll see here is that this tight end corner will consistently get over the top of that 30 
or of that cloud flat. That could be a zone drop 30. As long as it's pressed, that's the problem. And you see that it can get over the top of that. So they can't really run a base press zone coverage to be able to combat this, this play flood. So the main thing that you're going to get them to do is you are going to get them to go to a 30 and a five double Mabel coverage. So the way that this would look is they would back off these outside corners, put them in clouds, and then they'd put a half over here to the left. They might leave the quarter on the left, uh, but they're definitely putting a half on the right. So it looks something like this, okay? So a couple of dif different options. One of them is a super fun little adjustment. So if you think that they are truly running a double flat coverage like this right here, one of my favorite things to do is to flip the play and to put the tight end on a streak. So this super simple adjustment right here is gonna oftentimes be able to give you a one play touchdown against the double Mabel, because I talked about this before, and I talked about the, I talked about this at the beginning of the video, this fade route is special. This fade route is special. It's really good at breaking down zone coverage every single year. So if you're getting a lot of this cover too, there's really only a couple of zones that this left side safety could be on. He could be on a third. So like, let's say you guess wrong, right? And it is, and it is this right here. This is where I think it makes a little bit of sense to drag this guy and streak this guy. Because if I guess wrong, like let's say they're showing me cover two, but in fact it's cover four. Well, now you're just going to throw your tight end corner to that sideline because you have the super clean clear outs of the two streaks. But let's say that they actually are going to be in cover two. That fade route, when you run that fade route to the short side of the field, for whatever reason, the deep half is because again, we talked about Madden's based on a grid system. The deep half is not going to really get outside of the numbers. If there's a vertical streak that's threatening him inside of the numbers, the deep half has to turn to the inside. So you'll see the deep half turns inside to the numbers, and then this fade becomes open to the outside. Now, you can't, it is a little bit of a tight window throw, especially with KOs, but a lot of times this can be a one-play score against cover two. So if you're getting a lot of double flat, that's an option. Another option to manipulate this kind of cover two coverage is really one of two different options here. Uh, sometimes this tight end can get over the top of the 30 yard cloud, but more often what happens is you want to be using a short corner. So the way that I like to utilize the short corner here is we're just going to put the tight end on a tight end apprentice or hot route master corner. And what you're going to notice here is that the short corner can be thrown underneath of that 30 yard cloud. Now, another way that you can get this to work in your favor is, and this will really help to hedge the bet in case you guess wrong, is to utilize a slot apprentice corner on your slot receiver. So it looks something like this. So now what we're able to do is we're just simply manipulating that Mabel coverage. You see that deep flat has to go take away the deep corner and then the tight end is able to run underneath it. This also could be accomplished by going back to corner strike and utilizing the short corner from corner strike in this formation. But in general, this allows you to be able to attack a lot of things on that right-hand side of the screen. So again, let me just cover this one more time, and we'll talk a little bit about the slot apprentice corner. So the slot apprentice corner, it actually can get over the top of 30-yard cloud sometimes, especially in game. It's a little better in game than it is in, in practice mode. But you see, see how it's kind of close to getting over? It doesn't really get over here. But one of the things that your opponent will do, and I guarantee you, is they'll put that guy on the outside in a 25-yard cloud. Very, very regularly this happens. And so if they do that where they're kind of like bluffing the 30, and it's actually not a 30, it's like a 25-type type, type zone, what you'll see is he'll play the tight end. So you see I can't really throw the tight end, but now I can throw this route over the top for a big play. So... This play gives you a lot of versatility in terms of how you manipulate coverage. Now, another thing that I did want to cover, because a lot of the route combos here are pretty heavy uh, to the sideline, and at this point in the year, most people have high route master, you don't just have to utilize the corner route. If we just want to utilize this fade, it's going to do a really good job of clearing out a lot of different stuff. What we could do is we could motion this guy in, put him on a crossing route, and then we could take our tight end, put him on a drag, and then maybe take the running back and put him on a Texas pattern, 
this is a really good combo as well because this crosser a lot of times is going to get over the top of this 30 if you wait on it long enough. Didn't quite get over the top like I wanted it to there. But this is also kind of going back to the first thing that we were talking about in the video. This is a great way to manipulate cover four. So one of my favorite combos would look something like this right here because what you'll see is that fade will clear that zone so well and then this becomes a nice ball that you can just throw on the sideline. So this fade is super good for manipulating, manipulating the, the, the plays. Another thing I wanted to say just real quick is you can smart route this fade and you can smart route the tight end route. By doing that, you'll see here that you'll get a little bit of a deeper stem and he'll get up a little bit more and more vertical, which can be advantageous for bombing cover four, for example. So if I wanted to bomb, you know, cover four, uh, you can maybe smart route this fade. And then what you'll see here is this corner kind of on the rollout. You'll see that can potentially get over the top. Did not there at all. But just saying, that's something you could look into. But by and large, you know, just leaving it like this is perfectly fine. Another thing that people really underestimate about this fade that I did want to highlight is, let's say, again, you're, you're facing a lot of cover two, and they're probably, you know, double flatting if they're going to run a cover two like this. Well, we know that C routes – Right? A lot of people really worry about the C route here to the right side. And then over here, if you wanted to do a double corner, you could. This route combo super slept on because what's going to happen is the C route is going to pull that half. And then you have this like inverted streak, as you see. And this is going to destroy a double flat type of coverage. So there's a lot that you could do with this play. I really would encourage you, you know, not to sleep on using this as more than just a corner route clear out. So... Like if I wanted to run just a basic flood concept, which I do think is really good, or if we wanted to maybe run the concept like this, for example, let me show you the play art. If we wanted to run the concept like this, now we have kind of a shallow cross over the middle to hold the user. And then we have this, this back shoulder, this back shoulder corner that we can throw on the sideline. Now, cover four is gonna defend this a little bit better than cover three is going to. Most people are not gonna be in a cover four, but if they are, you still can throw this against cover four. You just want to throw this down and away so that he catches it on the sideline. And most of the time, he's going to be able to make that catch consistently and not get a, knock, not, not get a KO. Another thing I forgot to mention is if you're playing cover four or cover three shade underneath, what's going to happen most of the time is that tight end short corner, as you see, is going to get into a really soft spot. So another setup that's really good out of this is to do a route combo like this where we're taking a ton of we're just threatening the right side really well right we have this we have the deep corner the short corner and the running backs we're threatening it at 30 yards 15 yards and really like zero or five so you see you just can't defend everything we can do to the sideline now the other thing that i didn't mention yet that i did want to cover is let's say they man up the tight end route if they do man up your tight end route, this tight end route does a really good job. As you see, look at, that, look at all that separation he's able to get against man coverage. You can still kind of use this almost exactly the same, almost exactly the same uh, with, this, with this deep fade. Let me show it to you one more time here, and then we'll talk a little bit about some of the other things you can do. So there's a ton of stuff you can do from this formation as a whole, okay? Uh, one of the things that you can do out of this as well, like I said, is really utilizing this fade as a clear out. And if you want to use like a slot, pro, a, a slot post, that's perfectly fine and run the combo like this. I think this is a really good route combo. Let's say you want to block the tight end. Now you have a really, really good man beating concept as you see here and notice that that running back can be thrown in a lot of different ways on the play. So flood is just overall an extremely versatile passing concept that allows you to manipulate cover three, cover four, cover six, cover two, all of those different coverages by allowing you to really attack the grid system that Madden is based on.